Hello and welcome to our demo session, Easy Retrofit Solution for Aftermarket Application to Verify or Automate Your Changeovers. My name is Stefan Preck. I'm the General Sales Manager with Seco. Probably most of you knew Seco already for decades. For all the others, I would like to give you a short introduction. Seco is family owned and was founded in 1963 in Germany. We are a manufacturer of measuring systems with almost six years of experience in the industry. Jürgen, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you, Stefan. My name is Jürgen Schuh. I'm managing the business unit changeover solutions at Seco Germany. And before we start with the presentation, we would like to give you an impression about the company with the following video. So Stefan, the topic is retrofit solutions. What do we have to expect from this presentation? The audience will learn more about the different retrofit solutions to verify or automate the changeovers. We also will show how down and ramp up time can get reduced by increasing the process safety. So we are going to start right now. So before we start with the details of the products, I want to discuss the reasons and goals for retrofitting machines. We do have a lot of requests where customers tell us that their management wants to reduce their production costs. One way to achieve that is by increasing the efficiency of the production. Reproducibility of the production steps can increase your efficiency significantly. Another way to save money during production can be reducing the times during changeovers and ramp up procedures. Last but not least, a good way to save money and also protect the environment is to avoid commodity. And all that needs to be easy to use. It would be hard to convince the people in the production to use it if it wouldn't be easy. Now we come to the final question. How can Seco help you to achieve your goals? To help you to find the right fit for your application, I want to show you what Seco can offer. At Seco, we distinguish in three different changeover solutions. Probably most of you are already familiar with our manual changeover solution. The manual format changeover with our mechanical and electronical indicators offer an easy installation, a clear indication of the position value, as well as a wide range of different ratios and display values. It is an inexpensive solution for your machine. Our second solution to retrofit your machines are our indicators for monitor changeovers. These indicators are designed to communicate with the PLC or controller. The backlight display with two lines offers enough space to indicate the actual and target position at the same time. The target position comes from a stored recipe which was selected at the HMI. Therefore, the operator has the information which is needed to perform the changeover right at the changeover point. The both status LEDs indicate if the changeover point is in position or not. These indicators are still manual operated, but supervised. Not just the position value, but also the status information will be exchanged with the PLC. This offers the opportunity to interlock the machine if not all axes are in position, and it also prevents from human errors during the changeover process. Seco does offer these indicators for rotary and linear applications. A push to verify indicator completes the group. Last but not least, the third retrofit solution which Seco does offer. Our actuators can be used for fully automatic changeover. These actuators are easy to install with their holoshaft design. Most of our actuators are especially designed for the packaging industry. Realizing a compact design was as important as offering various torque classes to cover all requirements of the different applications in the packaging industry. 
a wide range of communication interface round up the profile. In the last few minutes, we showed you our different changeover solutions. Now it comes down to the control system. We had quite a lot of customers in the past who mentioned that they really liked our products, but didn't want to touch their PLC system to integrate them. This may have different reasons. For example, their PLC system was too old, or they didn't have access to the program, or just simply cost reasons. There are probably more than a handful of reasons out there, but this was for us the reason to develop an easy touch control. It is a PLC for changeovers with the possibility to connect up to 31 devices to one display. It has a touch control user interface for easy controlling and monitoring. It offers flexible configuration opportunities for the connected device as well as the touch panel itself. There are no programming skills required. Everything is already implemented in the touch control. It has a user management with different login and user levels. A recipe handling is also included. The biggest benefit is probably for the customers that we offer the complete package from the control system over the cables to the indicators and the actuators, everything from one source. The design of our ETC 5000 touch control and the connect device allow a high level of flexibility. You can see there are a lot of different combinations possible. You can, for example, mix indicators with actuators, rotary with linear indicators, different sizes or torque ratings. The ETC 5000 itself offers also a wide range of features in addition to the features we already mentioned. It has different languages pre-installed, a log file which logs all the steps and changes the operator makes, and the recipe handling has a teach in function to teach in the position value to the new recipe. The IO module, which is shown at the very end of the communication path, is an optional device. The module can send status information to another control system or can be used to select a recipe from a higher level control system. As we have learned, the Easy Touch Control is a real plug and play solution with no programming required. It would be also possible if you don't want to go with our Easy Touch Control but want to integrate our indicators or actuators in your control system. We offer all kinds of integration support to minimize the work on your end if you decide to go with your own control system. Software tools like an instructions and functional blocks for common control systems like Allen Bradley, Siemens, Backhoff or BNR are available as well as tutorials, manuals and live integration support with our experts to make the integration process an almost plug and play solution. Therefore, you don't have to worry to go the route either. After talking about the easy integration on the control side, we also would like to point out the easy adaption of the mechanical part itself. The hollow shaft design of the indicators and the actuators allow an easy and fast mounting process. Simply just tightening the set screw of an indicator or clamping ring of an actuator to the shaft. The torque pin design keeps the indicators and actuators in place and prevent a device from spinning. As you can see in the picture, replacing an, old, an old hand wheel or mechanical indicator is pretty simple due to the same footprint design of the different devices. Thanks Stefan for this presentation, but can you give us a live demo of this equipment? I will be happy to do that. Okay, uh, to the left is our ETC 5000 touch control as we talked about before and here on the right hand side we have the AP10 series counters. One is the rotary one um, for verified changeover and the other one is the linear one with an external encoder as you can see here and we do have also two actuators. The operator itself now has only to log in at first. We are already logged in as an admin, so an admin can change everything basically. An operator can only select recipes but not change the values of the recipe. So I'm switching now to the recipe um, screen. We were running before carton 2, now we want to change to carton 1. Only selecting the recipe and 
with OK, I acknowledge, and all the target values will be sent to the devices now. You can see the red LED um, for the counters, also with the actuators. Actuator is just a push of the push of button to move them to a desired position. The AP10 series, the rotary one, I move them within the target position to get the green LED. If you overturn, you also see you are guided through the LEDs as well, not just through the sign in the screen. And the linear one, I will also bring in position. And you can see in the control, you get also the feedback that everything is in position now. If the access would run out of position, you could stop your machine or you interlock it that you cannot start the machine. Okay, Stefan, thank you very much for the live demo. You're welcome. Um, but can you show us an application as well? We have prepared a short animation video to show you that also in an application. Great. We want to show you a short animation video to demonstrate the differences between the systems. In the first sequence of this video, you can see an old KC reactor equipped with manual position indicators. The split screen compares an old case erector on the left hand side with a modern case erector to the right. The operators have to perform a changeover from a large box to a smaller box. The operator to the right has only to select the new recipe in the HMI, small box, while the operator to the left has all machine settings written on a sheet of paper. The modern case erector will perform the changeovers fully automated with the help of our actuators. On the other side, the operator of the old case erector has to crank all access manually and without any verification. He also has to find an access which is hard to reach and needs a step or ladder. The down and ramp up times are significantly longer with the old case erector. The old machine also doesn't prevent from human errors. Therefore, the modern case erector doesn't just offer faster changeover and ramp up times, but also much higher repeatability and less committee. Okay, Stefan, thank you very much for the live demo and for the presentation. We still have some open questions. Um, okay. For example, is this solution just for a particular machine type? This is a really good question and the answer is no. You can basically use those devices for every kind of machine where you need to perform a changeover. I need to know the position value or yeah, position information. Okay. Um, do you have a way to measure the benefit of this solution? Um, we do. Um, we just would need the information from the customers, how many changeover they perform per day or per week, and um, how long it takes them to perform those changeovers and their labor costs. With th those information, we can calculate the break-even point of the, of the system, basically. All right. Good. Thank you very much. So that's all for this topic. Thank you for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye. Thank you and have a nice day.